perhaps the most important feature when you think about the energy transition is what's likely to happen to carbon emissions. And that varies very significantly across the different scenarios we look at. But it feels like if we just continue along a path based on sort of the progress we're making over the last few years and the way policies and technologies have been evolving, that seems to suggest that carbon emissions are likely to continue to rise a lot more slowly than in the past, but still continuing to rise. A central message is we're likely to need to see a far more decisive break from the past if carbon emissions are going to fall to the extent thought necessary to achieve the goals set out in Paris. Policies focusing on particular technologies, so improving growth in electric cars or pushing stronger growth in renewables will help, but we're likely to need to see a far more comprehensive package designed to both improve energy efficiency and also encouraging a shift in the fuel mix away from coal, encouraging growth in natural gas and renewable energy. As an economist, I continue to think there should be a key role here to be played by carbon pricing, because carbon pricing provides incentive for everyone, producers and consumers alike, to play their role in achieving the energy transition.